In this video, we are going to discuss inequality and the commonly used adverbs and phrases in statistics. Trust me, when you take a real statistic, when you take a statistic course, you see this almost everywhere. So let's uh, review the inequality sign. So the first sign is a uh, greater than, greater than is easy, right? Easy to interpret. 10 is greater than 5, 3 is greater than negative 7. One quantity is bigger than the other quantity. Less than is one quantity is smaller than the other quantity. Negative 3 is less than 20, 9 is less than 25. Very straightforward. What about greater than or equal to? Greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, they are Okay, here is how the or works. So the one or, so as long as the greater than or the equal to is satisfied, the inequality is true. Four is greater than negative three. I don't need to worry about the equal. Four is equal to four, then I don't need to worry about the greater than. The less than, negative seven is less than 23. I don't care about the equal. Six is equal to six, then I don't need to care about the, the less than. That's how these four inequality sign works. Now, the next part you have to pay special, we have to pay special attention to. Commonly used adverbs and phrases in statistics. I let x, I let the variable x be a real number. The first phrase is at most n. At most n means the maximum is n, including n itself. So let's say you have a uh, at most five pairs of sneakers at home. How do you express that? So x, I'm trying to guess how many pairs of sneakers you have. So x is, stands for the number of, of pairs of sneakers you have. I don't know, I'm trying to guess. So let's say x is at most, x is at most five. You have at most five pairs of sneakers. So that will be x less than or equal to five. The maximum is five. The minimum is zero, right? Based on this uh, statement, you have at most five pairs of sneaker. Maximum is five, minimum is zero. But if you say you have at least five pairs of sneakers, wow, that's many, many pairs. So at least is x greater than or equals to five. That means your minimum is five pairs. The maximum, it can be one million. It can be 10 millions. What about more than five? Easy, just x greater than five. What is the difference between more than and at least? The difference is there is no equal. So that means the minimum you have is six because five is not equal to five. So that's the difference between the equal and without the equal. Less than five, so the maximum you have is four. F not, not five, five is not less than five. And then the no more than is the same thing as at most. So this is more than, right? So if you put a no right in front of it, no this, that means you take the opposite, less than or equal to. So which is equals to at most. And then no less than, the opposite of less than is greater than or equal to, which is at least. And then between A and, a and B inclusive, inclusive means you equal you have i guess that you have between one and ten pairs of sneakers inclusive that means n is between or x is between okay let's follow follow x or, or n or whatever you you like to use that doesn't matter let's just follow n because i wrote n n in there between one and ten how many pairs do you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten a number between one and ten including one including 10. Exclusive means do not include one, do not include 10. So this can be one, two, three, four, five, and then all the way to 10. This one, you don't include one. So that will be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, no 10. Because you have to take out the one, you have to take out the 10. This thing, you will see this everywhere in statistics. Let's do a quick practice express inequality on the number line x is at least three at least is the same as no more than at least three means three or above right at least three so where is three three is right here three or above so that means i have to include all the real numbers oh why, why do i put put a four in it why do i put a dot on the four three is there so all the numbers greater than or equal to three that means they are right there every single number on the right hand side of three. So inequality is x is greater than or equals to three. 
at most negative 5, the maximum is negative 5, which is right there, at most negative 5. Let's, let's switch which color for this. Um, negative 5, so we have a negative 5 right here, at most. So at most, which is the, the maximum is negative 5, so I want to include all the numbers that are 5, negative 5, or less. So this x less than or equal to 5, x x less than or equal to 5 and then between negative 7 and 9 inclusive so we have this between negative 7 and 9 inclusive this is negative 7 this is 9 including both so we have this like right here okay so that will be a x or n so that is a between and then between 0 and a exclusive so we have a zero right here, we have an eight right there, and then exclusive. How do you express exclusive? Because it must be zero less than n or less than x, and then less than a. So if you do not want to include zero and a, here is how we fix this. So all you have to do is you draw an open circle. Open circle means you do not include the zero and a. A solid circle means you include the indicated number. So that means if I give you a quick inequality, so let's say x is uh, greater than 1, so this is what you have to do. You draw a number line. This is a 0, right? 1 is on the right-hand side, greater than 1. Then you do this. What about this? What about x? x less than negative 2. So here is your negative 2. And then negative 2, you have a point right here. And then you have this. You just do not use a solid circle on the 1 and the negative 2. So that's how the number line and the inequality works. And that will be at the end of this video. If you think my lesson is helpful to your learning, please click the like, subscribe, share this video out for me. I appreciate your help really, really much. I see you all in the next lesson.